Welcome Aries to your reading. This is Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit me on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com or you could purchase the extended, which could be found in the description box below, or you can become a member by clicking on the join button on my channel and receive all extended readings for for the price of one. You also get extra benefits such as discounted readings, exclusive to members only, and so much more. So without further ado, this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Aries. So let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you and love in the month of October. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the energy of Aries in the month of October and what is the energy of the person that they're connecting with in love what is the energy of vibration of the person that Aries is connecting with in love and Aries what will your energy be like in the month of October let's go ahead and see We have expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. Wow. So this is what I'm feeling. You're ready to express what you want. Okay. I feel like you're feeling, feeling very fiery, very passionate towards an individual. And maybe you, you've expressed or um, you know, gave them a hint that you're into them, right? Let's go ahead and see. Also, we have creativity. Yeah, you're being creative. <laughs> You love uh, to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. So you are trying your best to get creative to see if your person is going to take the bait, right? That's what I'm feeling, guys. I mean, you're putting your best foot forward out there, either looking good, smelling good, saying the right things, you know, uh, doing some background checks on the person. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. So let's see. With your individual, we have satisfaction, but it's in reverse. Wow, they're not satisfied. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. So your person is not satisfied that they are actually not in a very good vibration for whatever reason. This is what I'm sensing. Even though that you're expressing yourself and, you know, you're enticing uh, this potential love interest uh, to come your way, um, they're not happy, not because of you. I feel like they're dissatisfied with whatever that's going on in their personal life. Okay, there's nothing you could really do to help this. So no matter how good you're looking, how you're smelling, you took that shower, you <laughs> whatever the case is. Your person is, is like unfazed by anything. Like, as a matter of fact, even if they saw like um, something like, you know, like something that's their favorite meal or whatnot, they still wouldn't be happy. Okay. That's, that's the feeling I'm getting with this one. Okay. Let's see what's going on with them. Honestly, it really feels as if they're really dissatisfied with life in general. And you really want to, 
you know, take it a little bit further, but they're they're not playing the same game as you, you know. And I'm not saying you're playing a game with them. It's just, you know, they're they're not in the mood to play along because there's something that's going on personally that they're having an issue with. Okay. So don't think that um, if this person uh, doesn't seem interested that you know, they're not into you. It's not that. Um, what I'm feeling is that they're just not happy with their life or whatever circumstance or situation that they're in. So Spirit, please reveal to me clear messages in regards to this person that Aries is connecting to in love. How are they currently thinking? How are they feeling towards you? What is it that they want? What are they going to do about the situation? What is their challenge? And what is the potential outcomes? Thank you. Dang. Um, they had some bad luck. Okay. Like, this is not the time to hook up with them. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. And like I said before, this has nothing to do with you. Um, they're just not in a good vibration. Let's see. They need um, just like a timeout, a period of separation. Again, I, I keep wanting to tell you all, okay, that your person is just not into the dating right now, okay, or October. I feel that there was something that happened they need to work with this karmic situation. I'm not saying it's a karmic partner. It could be, but um, they're not having the best of luck. And they're going through a hard time. They, they need to sit still and just be alone. Yeah, they're really defensive. If you actually cross their path, they may get angry at you for no reason. Okay, so don't take it personal. That's that's what I'm getting. It's because they don't have much to offer you. You know, this is like a personal reading I did for someone recently. She's in Aries. Um, totally saw this. It's actually showing up in the journal collective reading for Aries. Now, I feel like your person, um, they can't really offer you much in the physical. For one thing, it could be a financial loss. Um, maybe their financial situation isn't as good as it used to be. Maybe they took a hit and had to pay out uh, for some big price items. Um, they're definitely wanting to just be alone and wanting to work on themselves. You know, for some, your person just wants to work on their craft, maybe their uh, career. If they're building a business, they're just really focused on that rather than uh, a partnership. Now, they um, do see you, okay? And they're very much attracted towards you. Um, eventually, once they have their sense of stability, I feel as if uh, they will move forward towards you, okay? But right now, they're just watching you from a distance. They're checking up on you on social media, from what I can see. They're trying to get out of their head about their thoughts, about how um, they have so much going on in their life. They're not happy. Emotionally, they're not happy. And they know that, um, you know, being with you could lead to uh, happiness. But, you know, this person is having a hard time of dealing with their emotions. And I feel like it's because they're penny pinching. Honestly, guys, okay, your person is going through financial struggle. That's why they can't offer you love. Yeah, they're they're pumping the brakes. They can't move forward. For some, you know, they need to get a divorce. There is a legal situation that may be costing them a lot if they're actually in the process of real time going through it. And they know that it would be uh, unfair to entertain uh, to be with you when they can't really be with you present 100%. Because once you get a little taste, you know, they know you're going to expect more. And, you know, knowing your energy, Aries, I mean, once you, once you lick it, <laughs> you go back for more. <laughs> and your person's like, um, let me just stop right here. It's not that they don't want to. It's just they can't cater to your needs right now. Not saying that they they don't want to. They just don't want the conflict. They don't want, you know, they just don't want extra. And they're just really thinking about themselves, okay? But I don't think that this is a conceited way. 
it's just people wouldn't understand uh, is what I'm hearing. They do want to work on this with you, but they need time. Okay. I really feel like uh, this is a divine counterpart for some. Again, you know, it could be another Aries that you're dealing with. But they are totally blocked up. But they wish that uh, things would be better between you two. So they're patiently waiting. Okay. They need to change. They're, they're actually going through a lot of changes because of a past situation. And what I'm seeing is that they're not very clear on how to vocalize or communicate this. You know, maybe their intuition is a little bit blocked also. Yeah, about moving forward. They're just like, they don't even have, uh, you know, the energy to do anything. Yeah, they're feeling like defeated, like out for the count. And for some, I mean, they could be drinking. Like your person is going through a lot. You know, they know that your spiritual connection because they're actually connecting with you through, uh, you know, telepathic communication here. And they're just really blocked up. They can't really express how they feel. But they do want to uh, offer you some sort of balance and get out of the separation. Yeah, and there's something they're not telling you. They're hurt. They're hurt. They're not satisfied. Like I said, it's not it's not you. They're not satisfied with you. They're just not satisfied with their life in general. And there could be a past situation that they're dealing with that's making them feel that way. And uh, a big part of it feels like financial financial reasons. So let's see. You know, they're thinking that, you know, they had to reject your offer because they're just waiting for the right time. Um, they're just not balanced right now. Okay. And they're feeling that they can't really open up with their emotions. and But they don't want to let you go. They're just really focused on their stability. You know, they want to be, be grounded. They want to, if they're going to do it, they're going to do it right. You know, they don't want to half-ass it. You know, if you're looking for love, this person's looking for stability and security right now. And what they want is to just hold back from communicating to you because they're not happy. You know, you don't, maybe you know this intuitively or maybe you don't know what's going on with them because you haven't heard from them. But there's a karmic situation that needs to close and they're not happy with dealing with that. And that's why they're not talking to you. You know, and, and I know that you had really good energy or vibration or dynamic between you two, but whether or not you know that your person is in another karmic situation, there's something else that's going on and your person isn't happy with that. It's not doing with you and um, they need to work on it. Okay. So if you feel like this is your story or your narrative, I'm going to take the rest into the extended and we're going to talk about what are they going to do, what are the actions they're going to take, what is their challenge, and what is the potential outcome. And then uh, I'll pull some messages from your person and uh, some guidance messages from spirit. So I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye.